even though the Florida job is the most recent opening, it appears as though uh, the Florida administration is moving quickly toward Billy Napier. And there are reports circling all over the place. And it appears, I don't want to call it a done deal, but uh, there is way too much smoke not to believe that he is the number one target. Absolutely. Napier's the guy I keep hearing from Florida people that I talk to. Uh, th th yeah, like, like that. that's the guy that Florida seems to be most intent on, and particularly because they believe Napier would, would answer their recruiting woes that really cratered under Dan Mullen. That is the name I most consistently hear at Florida. So if, you know, if that being the case, then that leaves Aranda there for LSU, and we go back to the main point of, you know, do USC and LSU, do they value Aranda exactly the same? Does one value Aranda more than the other? So, like, if you're a USC fan who wants Dave Aranda to come to USC, you need LSU to value another candidate more than Dave Aranda. That's that's the key. If they both value Aranda at the same level, LSU is in position to win a bidding war. That's been the case all along. That's no different now. Maybe Aranda wants to come to USC really badly, but given his wonderful experience at LSU winning a national title there, I really doubt that's the case. I think that if everything everything else is equal about USC and LSU, Dave Aranda goes to LSU. USC has to want, want Aranda more, and, and Aranda has to be pulled in that direction uh, for USC to get Dave Aranda. Interesting how... Chip Kelly almost landed at Florida. Florida got its guy in Dan Mullen. Dan Mullen has completely outperformed Chip Kelly on the field. Dan Mullen loses his job. It looks like Chip Kelly may get extended at UCLA. Uh, different different uh, standards for different programs. That's exactly what it comes down to. And, you know, it, it's funny that we started the year with Clay Helton being on the hot seat. And UCLA fans were saying, you know, Clay Helton's the guy at USC. You just got to be patient with him. Just got to let him, you know, be able to cultivate a better culture. It's going to come around. So like USC, UCLA fans were, you know, hilariously tried to do everything in their power to keep Clay Helton at USC. And now we end the year with USC fans going, you know, this Chip Kelly guy, he just, he just beat us by 29 points. I think he's the answer at UCLA. So you're seeing U USC fans really happy that, Chip Kelly is probably going to stay at UCLA. And that that might be the blessing from a USC perspective. Losing the 29 uh, by 29 to UCLA, it could keep Chip Kelly in Westwood. The Bruins can't look for a next head coach. So it's not all doom and gloom around here. And, of course, if USC makes a hire uh, that the fan base really likes and who's going to be up to the task, then, you know, USC's had a more productive year than UCLA in football. USC cleaned house. UCLA did not. USC would be better positioned for the future. It's funny how that works. Do you see any other jobs that uh, could hinge on this final weekend? Any other jobs that could come open? I'm scanning the Power Five. I'm really not coming up with anything. As you know, we all had our hot seat list to start the season, and most of them broke one way or the other. Decidedly, most of them for the downturn. A guy like Jeff Brom secured his position at Purdue, but do you see any other possibilities around the country? Uh, you know, I really don't. And, you know, it seems that Nebraska is retaining Scott Frost. And if there was a shred of doubt that Nebraska might change its mind, the Adrian Martinez injury kind of takes the starch out of that Iowa game where to the point where if Nebraska loses, well, Martinez was injured. So it's not really a dent in, in Frost's resume so that actually kind of keeps frost seat comparatively safer if he lost to if martinez had been healthy and he'd lose to iowa by three touchdowns with martinez healthy you know that that might be a tipping point for trev alberts but no with the martinez injury i kind of think frost is safe <coughs> you know I, i'm still wondering why miami hasn't fired Manny Diaz uh, just yet, you know, that that Florida State game was a total debacle. I mean, I don't know what they gained by waiting this thing out. Keep in mind that Lane Kiffin, <coughs> excuse me, is coaching in the Egg Bowl on Thanksgiving on, on a Thursday. So he would conceivably be open for interviews on Friday morning. So you would think then that Miami 
would want to clear Manny Diaz out of there so that Lane Kiffin knows he could coach for the Miami opening in the Egg Bowl. Now, of course, Miami doesn't have <coughs> an athletic director right now. Blake James got pushed out. Now, many people thought, and, and I'm included, I thought that Blake James getting uh, fired as AD cleared the way for a Manny Diaz to be fired because Blake James was keeping Manny Diaz on the job that when he got fired, that seemed to point to Manny Diaz uh, of being uh, fired, that that was going to happen, but it hasn't happened yet. Now, you could say that Miami needs to, you know, get an AD in place, and, and maybe that's the whole holdup here that the Hurricanes need to fill that position. But, you know, with Lane Kiffin being out there uh, and then coaching on Thursday and then being available for interviews on Friday, you know, let's say that Florida and Billy Napier, uh, their talks break down. I mean, like that's, it's not a done deal that Napier's going to Gainesville. It's, I, I agree with you that he's their top target, but like that's not, that's certainly not signed, sealed and delivered. And it could be that Napier, is leveraging Florida to go to LSU. That's that's certainly in the realm of possibility. I'm not going to say likelihood, but certainly in the realm of possibility. But anyway, if a Florida Napier marriage uh, falls apart uh, at the last minute, then Lane Kiffin is certainly out there for Florida uh, as a possible candidate. And so if you're Miami and you want Lane Kiffin, if he's a target for you, you, know, you would need to move sooner rather than later so it's really interesting to see that, you know, Miami made the decision to fire Blake James as AD, but now doesn't seem to be moving as quickly on Manny Diaz. Uh, I, 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 I'm just not understanding the thought process by the administrators there, but that is certainly a plot point to watch as Miami closes out its regular season. On one side, they might be thinking that an athletic director that's, that's worth their salt will want to hire their own football coach. But on the other hand, we're three weeks away from national signing day and each program either needs to send the message that we've cut ties with our previous coach. He's gone a la USC. And so there's going to be somebody else in play. So you at least know where we're headed toward acquiring a new head coach, or we have extended our coach. We have given him a vote of confidence. We have shown that he is going to be here. So one way or the other, the, um, uh, recruiting class can be secured let me make another quick point about miami mark you know a few years ago um, manny diaz hired dan enos as his offensive coordinator and the point of that move seemed to be to get jalen hurts to transfer from alabama where enos was the quarterback coach over to miami but of course hurts transferred to oklahoma instead but now we have a similar situation where if you're miami and you want lane kiffin you know Getting Lane Kiffin could also mean getting Spencer Rattler in the transfer portal because Caleb Williams has locked down the starting job at Oklahoma. Uh, so, you know, if like if you if you're trying to think a few moves ahead and at Miami, if you're if you're thinking that, you know, you want uh, another uh, high profile transfer quarterback, I know they have Tyler Van Dyke there. But like if you want to lure Spencer Rattler, like if that's a goal for you, it's a goal for, I'm sure, uh, other programs across the country then that kind of thing should also motivate uh, the, the Hurricanes to, to move quickly uh, in terms of uh, getting Lane Kiffin in after you know getting Manny Diaz out. If they want that to happen, I think they need to move more quickly. 